Gemini, what's going on with you guys? I hope you're doing lovely. This is going to be a reading from the 19th through the 25th. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm coming to you from a place that is right on, right on a main street, so you're bound to hear a lot of outside noise. All right, what's going on with you? <clears throat> Gemini? Oh, the 19th through the 25th. This is going to be a love reading, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get two more shots and jump straight into it. Oh. <clears throat> King of Wands. Who's on your mind, ladies and gentlemen? King of Wands. This is fire energy. It doesn't have to be fire energy. Nevertheless, this could be a very uh, exuberant individual. Someone that exudes confidence, all right? Someone that is... Um, someone that tends to grab attention due to their exuberant personality, possibly. All right. Now, hmm. Gemini, it seems as if you are having a sense of difficulty finding home within your own individuality, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Whether you're in a relationship or not, Gemini, there needs to be a sense of home within your own self. Okay. Does that even make sense? There needs to be a sense of independence, ladies and gentlemen. The other side of the coin to this would be codependency. De your happiness depending on someone or something else. Okay, that is a challenge position. That's, that's what I'm reading, ladies and gentlemen. Moving along. This is good. This is good. I love to see this. All right, because this destruction entails paradigm shifts. And that's exactly what's required. If you are resonating with what I'm saying in regards to the lack of independence, all right, the lack of comfort, the lack of, of home that you feel within your own self, we need to fucking destroy that shit. All right, however difficult it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We need to get rid of those, those paradigms because that's all they are, all right? They're just ideas and concepts that we begin to identify with. And next thing you know, they're part of our reality. And next thing you know, we're an individual that just associates with that sort of idea. When you can shift that upon will, all right? But it seems as if you've been stuck in some sort of energy for quite some time and this has only ensued in disappointment, looking at a situation through a scope of loss, grievance. Whomever it is that's on your mind, this King of Wands seems to be appearing here in the future. They may be coming towards you, okay? Night, but that's in the future position, ladies and gentlemen. So let's not go there just yet, all right? That's just a little spoiler alert, okay? But mind you, the future is quite malleable. I mean, I'm looking into the future already just by doing this weekly reading. Now, this is even further into the future, which, you know, is malleable. It's something that's moldable. It can happen or it, can, it cannot happen, right? So that's why I don't like looking too far into the future. But um, with that said, in regards to the current trajectory in which your, your life is going, this is what's headed towards you, all right? With that said, <clears throat> I need to stop saying without th with that said. Without that being said, there, I switched it up just a little bit. You're in this energy of patience, Gemini. Energy of patience, all right? It seems as if you're in this mood of taking it easy with yourself, trying to mend, trying to find inner harmony, trying to find peace. Again, what rings to me is patience, is patience, all right? Being patient with yourself, taking it easy with yourself, all right? Now, whomever it is that is within your proximity, it seems as if they're dealing with a lot of scattered energy. This is someone that is being pulled in different directions. Okay, they may be distracted. This, this sense of discombobulation doesn't necessarily have to be absolutely negative. Okay, it just could be an individual that is has a lot on their plate. All right, seven of cups. Although it does cause a bit of friction. You know, when an individual has got too much shit going on, then there's a lack of clarity, guys. In regards to your desires, I'm seeing that you're wanting communication. All right, you're wanting communication. And with the outcome... It seems as if, as if you just may be getting that communication, ladies and gentlemen. You just may be experiencing that communication. All right. <clears throat> Moving along, ladies and gentlemen. Moving along. Talk to me about this. This knight of wands. I mean, this knight. What? This knight. Not this knight. This king. This fire energy here that is encompassing. Well, it could very much be an Aries that you're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. The emperor. All right, the high priest is being here as well. This individual may be silent, 
okay lacking communication between one another yeah but there's a, a major change going on with this individual here with the death being here all right transformation tell me more about this transformation <clears throat> Okay, experiencing some sort of loss, but coming out of that. All right, so guys, if this was, if you guys had some sort of fallout with an individual, all right, whomever it is that's on your mind, like I said, does it, it can be a fire sign, it doesn't have to be. Nevertheless, it seems as if this, this individual is, is transforming that energy here, okay? It's transforming that energy. Now, yeah, I get the sense that there's some sort of friction attached to you all right yeah there's some sort of friction attached to you and this individual here and and exactly that that is what i'm seeing here transform within this person okay moving along why is the knight of night nine of coins here this is more significant than looking into your person ladies and gentlemen we need to focus on yourself you seem to be headed down the road towards codependency here depending on someone else for your own happiness ladies and gentlemen and that is a shame if you are resonating with this all right <clears throat> and you know what stick through this Let, let's see let's see how i can help you get through this i mean i'm not gonna butter cake you i'm gonna tell you what i'm seeing here and i'm gonna hopefully provide you with with a, a formula or some sort of insert or revelation that will you know be the catalyst to you again finding that independence and that home within yourself why is this here help me give me a message for them what is that something that is going to click yes all right, you know that communication from this individual would change everything. Your world would change, ladies and gentlemen. You'd be happy. All right, yes, we know that. We know that. Why? Because that would be the impetus towards putting forth effort and cultivating something. All right, and this something to you may be the all in all. You may want to get fucking pregnant by this individual. You may want a home with this individual. You may want an actual relationship with this individual. But let me tell you, if you're looking too far up ahead, guys, and you haven't really even established a relationship with this individual, it's a bit illusional. All right, it's a bit illusional, but you know what? We are fanciful, and I know the majority that I'm connecting with are women, and women, you know, do tend to live in, in a bit of a fantasy world, which is quite admirable, ladies, truly. That is what's so amazing about women, is that they live in a fantasy world, right? Amazing, amazing. They love romance and so on and so forth. Truly remarkable. Anyways, moving along. Yeah, so what I'm getting at, with this sense of illusion, and living in a, in a sense of fantasy, all right. It seems as if there's still a lot of growth within this connection to be had. All right. It seems as if the connection still has a lot of development to go through. So let's not, you know, get ahead of ourselves. That's why I'm telling you this. Let's not start fantasizing and start projecting these ideas because then what happens? We become disappointed when, they, when they're not fulfilled. All right. <clears throat> let's take a step at a time, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, the step is not imagining you know, a beautiful future and romance and this and that more so, you know what? First thing first, communication, communication. All right. That's where you're at. So it seems. Tell me more. Tell me about this communication that is coming toward Gemini. Seven. Okay. So this is going to ensue in reciprocity between you two. There's going to be a nice flow here. There's going to be a nice flow. All right, this is what I'm seeing here. Communication coming forth. All right, this may happen towards the end of the week, but this is going to ensue in reciprocity, equal give and take, okay? Equal effort being put. It's going to be a nice flow. It's going to be a nice flow between you two. It's coming back, all right? This relationship is obviously, it's been existing for some time, Gemini. It's, uh, it's got some history to it. The past is returning, flat out. That's what I'm seeing here. All right. So if you got someone from the past on your mind, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended and I'm going to bore into this individual. What energy surrounds their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions towards you? All right. And maybe we might go a little deeper, deeper than that. If this was your reading, I'll see you in the extended. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure as always, and I will see you next week.